You spoke about you know spending money rightly, not not wasting money. Um, you also spoke about you know not playing that Lagos big boy when the money initially came in. How easy was it for you to resist that temptation to go buy the Range Rover, go buy the house in the Queen? Uh, it was Range Rover. And is it is it easy now? Um, my wife, basically. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to buy Bentley. I, to till day, I, like I was like, I want to buy Bentley. She was like, don't do that. She was just like she she slows me down mm -hmm. big time. So. Um, Obviously, sometimes I've got to flex my, my manly muscles and just do what I want to do. Um, so, like now, we have, we have Range Rovers. Um, we have two here in Vegas, we have one in London. Um, but then it was more, in, but we're, we're in a kind of a very strong winning position rather than you get $3 million in and the first thing you go and do is a uh, couple of cars. You know, Banana, Banana Island apartment, $100,000 a year. You know, Range Rover is about $100,000. So it's like, uh, oh, like, you know, something like that. So it was like, she stopped me. She, she was like, look, that would be the worst thing you could do. Uh, there is time for that. It's not now. You have to demonstrate that you're a good custodian of um, other people's cash. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, Bastion, again, like, you know, my wife and Bastion, they are just not like, I'm just quite the, yeah, yeah, yeah sort of like doing showy things. They're just not like that at all. Mm -hmm. So, like, they basically stopped me from doing all sort of stupid stuff. Mm -hmm. I probably would do otherwise. And I guess for someone who was broke for so long, how easy was it to resist that? You know, just taking out money from the bank and going to say, look, oh, it Ferrari outside. So the thing is, I think um, <laughs> it was. So when the money hit the account, the first three million dollars, it was like it was. I was scared. We like we thought. We, I mean, but even before then, there was there was good money coming in. Yeah, it wasn't. But it was just like. So when I first spoke to Bash, I was like, this is like. This could be like a hundred million dollar opportunity, mm -hmm. and as as we start to succeed, um, we actually realised that well, it's more than a hundred million dollar opportunity. So it's do I spend two or three hundred thousand dollars today stupidly and sacrifice the opportunity to sort of like get twenty, thirty million dollars in like two or three years' time? That makes no sense. Um, so I think. What I've purposefully done is that I stayed away from like the island. So a lot of expats, when they come back to Nigeria, they stay on the island. I stayed away. I was in Festa. And most people don't go to Festa. So I was around very normal people. There was no sort of, you know, this guy's got this, this family's got that, they're doing this one, they're doing that one. So I purposefully kind of like disconnected myself from the, the noise of the, uh, of the Lagos sort of island set. Um, and, you know, again, like, my wife, I met her before I, um, when I met her, there was three employees and me, and it was like January, it was like, yeah, it was like January, like 2011. Mm -hmm. I met her so early that she was always there to slow me down in terms of some of the things I would have been doing and to say, do you know what, just focus. Mm -hmm. So my wife and Bashi just, they just focused me. That's, that, that, in the early days, my like strange tendencies could have spun the whole thing in any direction, but they, they really spent a lot of time focusing me. Mm -hmm. And how, how proud is your mom now? More about the business or about the marriage? Um, well, the thing is, it's like, she was always like, be a lawyer, be a doctor, do this, do that. And you know, like, not all Nigerian parents are proud of their children mm. as long as they're succeeding. And I think for her, it's, um, it's like a, it's a reflection on her. Because my success is, it's, it's quite a visible success. Mm -hmm. Um, so all of her friends in the UK are on Iwoko TV and obviously, um, you know, the wide reporting has kind of like helped, I guess, improve her self-esteem. And I think, I'm, if you compare me to my siblings, I'm the only person who went to university. Mm -hmm. I'm all of my siblings. Um, I'm the only person who has had any level of success. And I'm talking about like employed success mm -hmm. um, of my family. So I'm, it's so diff I'm, I'm so different from my, my, um, my, my, my siblings mm -hmm. that for her, it's just, she's who she's happy, right? I retired her a couple of years ago. You know, Christmas I bought her a new car and I give her money every month. So she, she's she's happy. She can just focus on family and fully retire, not having to kind of work for the next ten years to kind of like pay the basic necessities and stuff. So yeah, I think she's I think she's proud.